going on, YouTube community? It's your boy, Wild Jim Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, in this video, of course, I will be doing my Super Bowl 50 prediction. I was going to wait, but you know, I'm like, eh, let me just get it out the way now. Now, Super Bowl 50, this is very, very interesting. We have a uh, Hall of Famer, well, future Hall of Famer, Peyton Manning versus the young, up-and-coming superstar, Cam Newton. We have two of the best defenses in the league, the Denver Broncos, um, which is led by... Uh, Tlaib, Chris Harris Jr., uh, Bradley Roby, T.J. Ward, Von Miller, uh, DeMarcus Ware, so on and so on. So they have the elite defense where, of course, we have, on the other hand, we have Luke Keekley, we have Josh Norman, we got uh, Thomas Davis, we got Roman Harper, we have uh, Kurt Coleman, we have Courtney Finnegan, like, Kiwan Short, like, just great players on both defenses. So I think, like I said before, this is going to be a defensive game. It should be an exciting game still. We have Peyton Manning. We have Cam Newton. We have running game on both teams. We have receivers. So it's going to be an interesting game. Now, um, I know coming into this game, um, I've been going back and forth. But I came to my final decision. Let's just be real. I honestly feel like the Carolina Panthers will win this game. I think it will be a close game. I think the final score of this game will probably be 27-17. Um, I just feel like this. Yes, the Denver Broncos have a great defense. Yes, the Panthers have a great defense. But I just feel like the offense of the Denver Broncos would not be able to withstand the Carolina uh, Panthers defense. Look at what this defense has been doing throughout the playoffs and through just out the season. They're number one in turnovers, interceptions. Um, they have, what, what nine in the postseason, I believe, so far? Like, this defense is just crazy. And just look at how Peyton Manning has been performing. He's not, obviously, he's not the same Peyton Manning. He damn near sort of struggled against the New England Patriots defense. He didn't play really great against um, the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. We already know his arm strength is really not there. His accuracy is it's really not the same, but, at, you know, Peyton Manning, at the end of the day, he still can make plays. He can still pull, give you a couple drives down the field. Um, but I just don't feel like he will be able to crack this defense. I mean, this defense is, is just crazy to Carolina Panthers. I know... You know, the, the Denver Broncos defense is crazy, but you just look at how the Carolina Panthers defense attack the quarterback and just so much um, so much action going on with the linebackers alone. Luke Keekley, who just don't intercept but score a touchdown. You got Thomas Davis, which is um, – his, his arm is messed up, but he's going to play. Just like T.J. Ward said, he's going to play. You know, so um, you have Kiwan Short, a good pass rush that's going to get at Peyton Manning. Now, mind you, Peyton Manning, he's not a mobile QB. So they're going to make him tap dance, man. They're, they're going to be coming at him, and I just think they're going to put so much pressure on him, he's going to probably turn over the ball. Now, he hasn't done it yet. But I just feel like that defense is going to force Peyton Manning to turn over the ball. Um, and I don't really think the run game is going to be so great against this defense because the Panthers' defense, as far as stopping the run, is fucking great. So it's going to be hard for them to um, run the ball. Now, um, on the flip side of things, and also both receiving cores are not the greatest, but you know, you still can't count out Demarius Thompson and those guys. They just have to hold on to the ball. Where on the other hand, you have um, Greg Olson, you have Ted Ginn Jr., you have, um, what's the other receiver? Um, hold on one second. What's the other receiver name? Devin Funches. Yeah. So you have guys on that, Philly Brown, you have guys on that offense who are playmakers. They can make plays. Of course, Cam Newton's main target is Greg Olson. But, um, yeah, man, I just feel like the Carolina Panthers, this is their time. I just feel like they're going to win. Um, I think they're going to do a lot of read option against the Denver Broncos defense just to keep uh, DeMarcus Ware and Von Miller and them on their tippy toes because obviously, you know, the – the the Carolina Panthers offensive line is way better than the New England Patriots offensive line. I think they're ranked like number fourth. So 
they're going to be able to protect Cam Newton. And just the great thing that Cam Newton, he has the ability to run and move out the pocket. And he's bigger and stronger. So he can take punishment. But, of course, he don't really want to take that much punishment. Um, they have a run game in Jonathan Stewart. So I think they're going to be running the ball a lot more. Now, not saying it's going to be easy, but that helps them when you have a run game and you can kind of throw the defense off a little bit. Um, but, you know, I just think this is Cam Newton time. It's the Carolina Panthers moment. And he's going to put up a great performance, man. It's just that. And now so much pressure on him. I mean, so much negativity is aimed towards him right now as far as, you know, all the, the racial stuff that's going on. Now you just put more fuel to his fire to go out there and play well. Now, not saying that the Denver Broncos can't win. Peyton Manning just had, he's going to play well. No interceptions. The defense is going to play well, which I think the defense will, you know, play great. Because like I said, they have a great pass rush. They have uh, great secondary, so it's not going to be like a, a a bomb threat offensively for the Carolina Panthers. But like I said, this is their time. I think they will crack that Denver Broncos defense, and um, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who feels this way. But I just, it's just, I don't know, man. I just don't really trust Peyton Manning against this defense. I just don't trust him. You know, um, so. It should be, hopefully, it'll be a great Super Bowl because the way that the Carolina Panthers have been playing, it can turn ugly fast. It really can turn ugly fast. Um, so, yeah, that's my Super Bowl 50 prediction. I have the Carolina Panthers winning 27-17. I just feel like Cam Newton and, that, and them boys are just going to be more ready and prepared, and I just don't trust Peyton Manning to be able to withstand the punishment that the Carolina defense will be able to bring towards him and I don't know, man. It's 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 just Peyton Man. If this was Peyton Man in Coach days, then it might be different. Where he can read the defense good, he know what you're doing, blah blah blah. But it's not the same. If it get too bad, I would not be surprised if the Broncos pull him out. Now I know it's a little bit different from 2000. What 13 was it? 13 when they played the Seattle Seahawks or 14? Damn, I can't. I think it was 2014. Because now the Broncos they have a better defense. But uh, we shall see, man. This should be great. But you guys tell me who you think will win Super Bowl 50 and give me your reasons why. Comment, subscribe, check out my previous videos. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all those social media sites. I'm out. Deuces.